In this lecture, we are going to talk about the string object and different methods and properties present on string object. We have already talked about string data type in detail in the data types lecture and we know that we can create a string like this. So for that we use quotes and this quote can be a single quote or a double quote and inside this quote we specify this string. So let's say this is a JavaScript tutorial. So this is a string. We are creating this string and assigning it to this str variable. And now when I log this string, you will see a string literal logged in the developer console. So this string is logged in the developer console. So this is a primitive string. Now we we can also create a string object in JavaScript and for that we use the string constructor. So let's create a string object, let's call it str1 and then we use this new operator followed by this string constructor. And to this string constructor we pass the string which we want to create. So again let's say this is a JavaScript tutorial. Okay, this time we are creating a string object. Okay, so here we created a primitive string and here we are creating a string object. So if I log this string, you will see that a string object in, is logged in the developer console and this string object has several methods. So a string object stores a string like key value pair. So the key is the index and the value is the character at that index. Okay. And here if I scroll down, you can see the proto property and the proto is the string. So this proto is nothing but the prototype of this string object. And this, the prototype of the string object has several useful methods. And we will talk about some of the methods of this string object in this lecture. And let's talk about the first method, which is to convert a string object into a primitive string. And it can be done by using this two string method. So when I say str1 dot two string, it will return a string string representation of the string object okay so it will return the string this string from this from the string object okay so let's store it in a variable and let's call it maybe x and let's log this x so console.log x let's save the changes and let's reload the page again and now the string representation of the string object is returned and is logged here. So this two string method will convert a string object to a simple primitive string. A primitive string and a string object is used interchangeably in the program. And JavaScript automatically converts a primitive string to string object in order to support the string methods and properties on that primitive string. Okay, so you can use all the methods and properties available for the string object on the primitive string as well. And to prove this, let's use some string methods on this primitive string str. So let's try to convert the case of this string to upper and lower. So Let's create a variable. Let's call it upper. And what we want to do is we want to convert this string to uppercase. So all the characters of the string should be in uppercase. And for that we have this to uppercase method on the string object. So let's say str dot to uppercase. And it will convert all the characters of the string into uppercase and it will return that. And finally, let's log that in developer console. So console.log 
upper let's save the changes and you can see all the characters of this string is now converted to uppercase and similarly we also have lowercase so let's create another variable lower and let's now use this low to lowercase method on this str string so to lowercase and this will convert all the characters of the string to lowercase and it will return that and let's log that lower let's save the changes and refresh the page and all the characters is now converted to lowercase you can also get a character from the string at a specified position so let's say we want to get the first character from this from this str string so the index of the first character will be zero so you can say str dot caret so this caret method is expecting a parameter and the value of that parameter should be the index number so let's say we want to get the character at zeroth index and this will return the character at zeroth index and for this string the character at zeroth index is t so it will return that character and we can simply log this in the developer console so here it should return t and t you can see here if you want to get a character at some other index let's say at index 6 it will give it will return the character at index 6 so let's refresh the page and it is s so here we are getting we are passing the index number and this caret method is returning us the character at that index number now let's say we want to pass a character I mean we want to get its index for that we have this index of method and it gives us the index of a character or in more specific terms it gives us the index of the first occurrence of a character okay so this index of will give you the index of the first occurrence of the given character so let's say str dot index of and let's pass a so it will give us the index index of a and the in that index will be the index of the first occurrence of this character a and let's also log this so console.log a let's save the changes let's refresh the page and the first the index of the first occurrence of a is 8 okay so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 okay so th this a is at 8th in you know 8th index and that's what this index of is returning and remember that this space is also a character so this also counts now let's talk about so this index of will give you the index of the first occurrence of a character we also have something called as the last index so if I say str dot last index of it will give you the index of the character of its last occurrence okay so let's say let's log this in the developer console so it will give us the index of this character a of its last occurrence let's save the changes let's refresh the page and we have 27 now let's talk about another method which is includes so this includes will check if a given character is present in i mean if a given string is present in other strings so let's say we have this str string and we want to check whether this string java is present in this string or not okay so when we pass this string java to this includes method if this java string is present in this str then this includes method will return true but if this java is not present in the 
str string then this includes will return false and if we scroll up in this str string we have this javascript word and this javascript word has this java so in this case it should return true so let's log this and let's check so it is returning true now if i pass something like java t and now if i search it should return false because there is no string like java t in this str1 right so if i go up we don't have any string like st uh, java t also here you need to remember that the case should also match so here if i put all this in caps then it will return false because the case is not not matching so if i reload the page it is returning false so remember the string which you want to search in a given string the case of that string should also match in order to you know this includes will return true only when the string is present and also it its case match matches finally i want to talk about the last method which is concat and this concat method is used to concatenate two strings so let's say we have a string one and let's say it is hello let's say we have another string s2 and it is world so we can use the plus operator to concatenate these two strings but we also have this concat method which will concatenate two strings so we want to concatenate s1 and s2 and we want to concatenate s2 on s1 so we will call this concat method on s1 so s1 dot concat and we'll pass this s2 string to this concat method and this will concatenate these two strings so let's save the result in a variable let's call it s and now let's log this variable so console.log s let's refresh the page and hello world so it has concatenated these two strings so concat method will concatenate two strings in next lecture we are going to create an activity where we will use these methods and properties to understand how to use the methods and properties of a string you know in a project if you like this lecture like this video subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends